University of Georgia is a very old college or university by American standards, by European standards, it's a blooming puppy. Uh, we are, are claimed to be the first chartered state university in America. Uh, why Georgia? It's, in a way, that's a good question. Georgia was the last of the colonies turned states during the revolution. It was very thinly populated with whites and blacks. The Creeks and the Cherokees controlled most of Georgia and really until the 1820s and 30s. Very few people at the end of the Revolutionary War, but a migration did take place because land was cheap and even free to some veterans of the Revolutionary War. Uh, one such veteran, a uh, chaplain in the Revolutionary Army and a graduate of Yale College, now Yale University, was Abraham Baldwin. Uh, Well-educated, intelligent, able, sophisticated, he came to Georgia and flourished. He was immediately elected to the Georgia legislature where he was very influential because of his education and sophistication. Soon he moved on to the national scene and represented Georgia in Congress. But while he was in the state legislature, he wrote and got past the charter of the University of Georgia. It's essentially just a document, a legal statement of the existence of this new school called the University of Georgia. That occurred in 1785, and this was the first one. However, due to the shaky and disorganized and thinly settled Georgia government, they didn't get the funding and even didn't get the location settled until early, eight, until 1801. They selected a little place called Cedar Shoals. They figured if you would put the students out in the middle of nowhere, male students, they would not be tempted by cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. Soon the town of Athens grew in the wake of the university and began to surpass it in uh, a population. 